Andy is putting her foot down yet again with Gary. Y'all, she gonna pick that sh back up. Jonah is back, and this time Danny, we going to jail. And we get the first reactions to people finding Karen in the fire. What's good y'all, it's your sister Erica Vane coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another sister's video. And in this video, we are breaking down the trailer for season six, episode number two. Yo, I'm getting a little stressed. I ain't even gonna hold you. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of my sister's content and conversations because I'm breaking down the episodes each week, giving you previews the following day, as well as breaking down trailers like you see right here. We also have additional subject matter and character focused conversations that get down to the nitty gritty of what some of our sisters are experiencing that we could be experiencing as well and then also y'all we got a podcast called our sisters keeper with myself and ally nick a fellow youtuber and commentator where we get down to the nitty gritty we dive below the surface and really talk about what it is and what it ain't in the in the lives of black women what we're seeing on television and how we can all just do a little bit better mm -hmm. but y'all are here for this trailer breakdown so i didn't gave you all the housekeeping you know subscribe check out the playlist and all that good stuff linked in the description box down below but without further ado let's talk about this trailer which opens on andy sitting on the edge of the bed with a flower petal clad naked ass scary right he just know he about to put that thing thing on her and they're going to keep doing this goofy merry-go-round that they've been doing. However, Andy has some other things up her sleeve, some other things on her mind. And she tells this man in this trailer, you are always trying to control me. I'm going to need you to leave. Now, in, in any other world, well, maybe any other sister, y'all, I would actually be excited about this. I would be rooting for her. I would be throwing my hand up in the air like, yeah, sis, yeah. But Andy, you play in my face way too much. You throw Gary out just to let his ass back in. You t you point out exactly how abusive and manipulative, selfish and disgusting he is only to be sitting at the damn bar talking about he's the only person who's ever made me feel this great, makes me so happy. He's the best person ever to me. So girl, which one is it? I am no longer getting excited and rooting for you doing things that your ass should have already done or you have already done, but you just didn't actually stick to it. So I'm going to go ahead and let it play out. I'm going to go ahead and wait and see. Yes, you need to be throwing this goofy ass man about your house, about your life. You need to be putting a block on his ass. Uh-huh. 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 But the fact that you're doing this now, again, I don't actually believe that's going to stay the course. And then also we got a little bit of tea from season seven because if y'all subscribe to the channel then y'all know i keep y'all posted check out the season seven playlist if you want a little bit of spoilers based off of the new characters because there's 28 of them that's coming to the show we know that gary ain't going nowhere for quite a while so i ain't getting excited moving on from there we're ushered over to the zatima abode where zach is making breakfast with a team and she's getting ready to head out and then he lets her know like yeah i'm gonna call heather because i want to formally be introduced to my son <sighs> I'm I'm just going again. I'm gonna wait and see with this time, with this little storyline as well. I don't know what it is. Well, actually, I do know what it is. I maybe I just don't know why. But like, uh, not Gary. Zach's energy is bothering me. <laughs> and I know so many of y'all like leave Zach alone, Erica. No, like even with how he says, I'm gonna call Heather. It's time for me to be introduced to my son. She, well, she didn't tell you for three years. So yeah, that's definitely a problem. But once you found out, you made no rush to go and see that boy. You made all of the rush to make sure that this girl wasn't going to be able to get all of your damn money. So like Zach having this like chip on his shoulder and this little like half stank of dang attitude when it comes to Heather and Michael and like what his position has been. Meanwhile, the moment that he got the paternity test, he didn't drop everything and run over there or he didn't call. He didn't do anything to like have any type of sense of urgency. But now all of a sudden he has this random ass sense of urgency. It just really annoys me and it comes off very ungenuine. So like I'm a watch, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. Um, and and y'all, this is also being set up because he ultimately is going to try to pursue full custody. And I'm just like, Zach, you just have so much that you have to work on. God bless you. Moving on. 
I mentioned this in my preview video, y'all, because I do a preview video to break down the end of episode teaser after each episode that, you know, kind of teases the next episode. Um, but in that, I talked about how Maurice came over to Sabrina's house, but looks like Calvin came over there as well because the next scene in the trailer is Calvin, Maurice, and Sabrina at Sabrina's house. And, and Maurice is talking about, I'm about to come for him. I'm taking everything. And then Sabrina's like, well, he could go back to jail or he could go to jail. And Calvin's just sitting there like, yeah, I know. And I'm stressed. Listen here, Three Stooges. You know what? I, I don't even have nothing shady to say. I'm actually excited for it. I'm excited for whatever this little mess is going to be. I still don't fault Maurice for busting a cap in Q's ass. It is long overdue. His ass ain't died. It happened in the show that he will be quite all right. I don't want Maurice to go back to jail behind it. But also, sir, you all out on bail. Like, you can't be busting caps like that. But that deserved it. He definitely deserved it. Sabrina, call me coochie, honey. And Calvin, relax. Relax. They're a little threesome. As long as they're not doing a bunch of trivial goofy sh I can get with it. Like, I like their dynamics. I like how they play out. Not me about to get back on the Sabrina and Calvin train. Am I about to get back on there? I don't know, y'all. Then from there, y'all, we get the last two scenes that are probably going to be the biggest things of the damn episode. So, you know, Aaron calls Pam because because Karen ain't answering the phone. And at the same time, Pam is pulling up to the salon. So Aaron, of course, is going to rush over there and see that the damn salon burnt down. And hopefully Karen is all right. We know that she's all right. But hopefully that. What I did not anticipate what I did not expect, what shook me, shocked me, and have me in all right now is the fact that Jonah is in Daniela's house after she returns from the bar drunk as hell, you know, because Andy drops her off after they had their little intervention, their little lady stuff, bear at the ball, got that girl together, allowed her to say what she had to say to Mindy and Preston, and then caught her ass out. When she gets home, Jonah's ass is there talking about something you thought I was going to let you get away with. You ain't had to let me get away with it. This time, I'm going to put your ass in the ground, okay? Okay. this time you're gonna have marks this time if you still breathing after you might be disfigured because absolutely the hell not i don't give a good goddamn what issues i have with danny i don't care how immature i feel like she is i'm saying a 10 toes down when it comes to fighting this goofy ass man named jonah and whatever danny gotta do to get his ass up out of her house and make sure that he doesn't infringe upon her life anymore i'm down for her ass to do it anything and y'all can't wait to see this play out let me know what y'all think what you expecting what you predicting check out the trailer and drop all your thoughts theories and predictions in the comment section down below because y'all it's a conversation over here and i'm gonna be in the comments replying back to y'all so we can keep that conversation going i also have a discord with a dedicated sisters channel where we have more detailed and intimate conversations because sometimes it's not necessarily a safe space to share how you feel and what you think online but your good sis e your good sis you let her talk tv with got you drop down in the description box down below for the discord link to subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you have access to our sisters keeper the sisters podcast that we produce every single week all the good good is right there for you and i can't wait for you to check it out and enjoy let me know what you think